evening tonight, six school districts across the state have had their final back to school plans okayed by the state superintendent, Molly Spearman. Yeah, one of those districts is Spartanburg District 2. And 7 News reporter Scotty K learn what it takes to get the green light. Those here at Carlisle Foster's Grove Elementary School are excited to know they'll be opening their doors to welcome students back in just a few short weeks as their district's return to school plans are some of the first to pass the state's test. Hallways lined with social distancing markers and hand washing reminders, students wearing masks and learning in smaller groups and sitting further apart in the classroom. This is what school will look like in Spartanburg District 2. It felt like you are serving the community. Uh, in, in a really good way. You're serving your students and your teachers. You've come up with plans that give uh, families options, that give kids quality education options, and that provide safety options for your staff, your faculty, and the kids that are coming to school. So it felt really good to see that. For elementary school students in District 2 who aren't enrolled in the virtual academy, they'll come back to school on a staggered schedule for the first two weeks, and then they'll enter what's called a family model. They're going to move as a unit. That's why we call it the family. They're going to be a tight-knit family, and they're going to move together, they're going to do activities together, and that's going to really limit um, their exposure to other students, and hopefully that will be a measure that will keep everyone safe. For middle and high schoolers, they'll be utilizing a hybrid model where they'll attend school two days a week and then do virtual learning the other three days. A lot of thought has gone into this and a lot of input has been taken in. While their plans haven't been approved yet, Spartanburg District 7 Superintendent Jeff Stevens said, quote, we are optimistic based on the plans that have been approved thus far. Our District 7 families have been flexible, positive, and supportive as we all work together to best support our children. District 1 officials say they asked for an extension and were granted one, so they just submitted their plans last Thursday, but say they're a lot like District 2's. We feel that our plan very similarly aligns with the things that um, they presented and had approved. So, you know, we feel very confident about our plan. I reached out to Superintendent Molly Spearman's office to see when they expect for all school districts plans to be approved. They said it depends on the quality and the level of detail in the plans as they have specific requirements that must be met. We'll have more information about those requirements on our website, WSPA.com. In Spartanburg County, Scotty K, 7 News. Now, besides District 2 in Spartanburg, Anderson District 5 was another one here in the upstate whose plans were given the green light.